Hi, my name is Joe Jablonski, and I'm the Chief Product Officer and Co-Founder at Ocient. I'm here today to talk about our compute adjacent storage architecture and why this is so important for modern hyperscale data warehouses. This architecture connecting a drive to the CPU isn't a new architecture. It's actually existed for a while, but it's been revitalized by a few different new technologies, NVMe drives and advances in the PCI bus. The first thing I'm going to talk about NVMe drives. NVMe drives are a new style of hard drive that were invented in 2014. They connect the drive directly to the CPU via the PCI bus and allow parallel access to the drive. What's exciting about these drives is they're able to deliver over 1 million read IOPS and over 54 gigabits per second of throughput to the drives. When comparing this to spinning disks that were capable of 150 IOPS and only one gigabit per second, it delivers over 7,300 times better performance on IOPS and over a 50x increase in throughput. These drives used to be expensive. When they came out in 2014, they were $2,000 a terabyte or $2 a gigabyte. But over time, we've gradually decreased and now we're $130 a terabyte. And over the next couple of years, we're expecting these drives to cross over in the total cost of ownership with spinning disks when factoring power savings as well as the reliability of the drives. The second dimension on which we've seen technological advancements has been in the PCI bus. So in the PCI bus, we've been increasing the number of devices that we're able to put on a drive, on a, on a CPU. So with PCI 3, and the Cascade Lake architecture, we were able to put 12 drives per processor on a PCI 3 bus in Cascade Lake. With Ice Lake in PCI 4, this moved to 16 drives on an Ice Lake platform. And with Sapphire Rapids in PCI 5, this is moving to 20 drives on an Intel platform, and then 32 drives on an AMD platform. The net result is the 300% increase over time in terms of the number of drives they could put on the platform. The second dimension on which we're increasing the PCI bus is with speed. With PCI 3, we're able to read at 25 gigabits per second. And then this doubled with every generation. So as we move from PCI 3 to PCI 4, it went from 25 to 50. It doubled again from PCI 4 to PCI 5 up to 100 gigabits per second. And then from PCI 5 to PCI 6, we doubled again to 200 gigabits per second. The net increase has just been this dramatic 16x increase in the speed from PCI 3 to PCI 6. When you combine these two factors, you get tremendous throughput gains. The OCN server platform is generally designed with a dual processor configuration. We do this because it delivers the most cost-effective platform for delivering analytics. When you factor in the dual processor setup, the increases in the PCI bus, and the number of drives that you come on the platform, the resulting throughput that you're able to get in a server is simply dramatic. In the PCI 3 platform with Cascade Lake, we're able to get 700 gigabits per second. And then with the Ice Lake platform with PCI 4, this moved to two terabits per second. And then with PCI 5 and the Sapphire Rapids platform or the AMD Genoa platform, this moves to both five terabytes on the Intel platform and eight terabits per second on the AMD platform. These are just dramatic increases in throughput and just deliver all the fuel we need for our modern data warehouse. But why is this important? Why do we need this fuel for our modern data warehouse? Um, performing I.O. operations is just an essential part of a data warehouse. And every query starts with retrieving data off disk, either by, uh, through an index scan or an I.O. scan, and then filtering it or aggregating it. It's this eight terabits per second that we're able to use to realize on a single server all of that I.O. and be able to retrieve the data off the system. And when you take into account we do this with hundreds of servers wide, we're able to read and process 800 terabits per second across all our platforms. This is what drives the performance of the OCEANT data warehouse.
When you compare that to the legacy architecture, where we put spinning disks connected across a 100 gigabit network to the compute storage, which we call our remote storage architecture, it just shows that the 100 gigabit network completely becomes bottlenecked when compared to the eight terabits per second that you're gonna be able to receive with PCI-5. This dramatic change in performance is over an 80X change in performance that allows us to dramatically increase the speed of which we're able to read, aggregate, and compute data off the drives. This is the fuel that powers the OCM data warehouse and why we're so excited about compute adjacent storage architecture.